Hi beauties and girls, it's Melissa. Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed the last video and today's video is going to be a haul. This is drugstore. Y'all know I always do my first drugstore haul of the year. And so um, this is so fun. I actually have been accumulating this since last year. I really didn't get too many things this year. I am going to have periodic hauls, but I definitely want to slow down in the budget department just because I have so many things that I want to share with you guys that is going on this year and I want to budget for it so yeah let's talk about my first haul okay so let me just say this I do have some things from the drugstore but I also have from the 99 cent store is that drugstore let's first talk about what I got from the 99 cent store I got some good stuff this is the L'Oreal ever curl sulfate free curl care hydro charge cleansing conditioner now this is different than the cold uh, cleansing balm that i actually did a review on my channel this was before and i got it for a dollar 99 i got this for two bucks from 99 cent store is it really 99 cent store if you paid two dollars for it anyway was well, a dollar 99 they didn't add the dollar they were kind of cunning with that you fooled me. It's for wavy to tight curly hair, which hello, I have. So I wanted to, I actually picked that up and I have tried that before. I do like it. This is the Everstyle Curling Defining Gel. Now this will be, I probably, I definitely want to do um, a review on this because it's alcohol free. It sculpts and defines and it's 24 hour curl control, no drying alcohols. How cool is this it does contain glycerin but i think i can work around this hopefully we'll see um they had a lot of l'oreal stuff so i wanted to try this this is the triple resistant ultimate strength solution this is a leave-in treatment so i would definitely use this when i am heat styling my hair and i also got this from l'oreal this is the uh, oleo therapy this is a sulfate free system basically it's a self-heating hot oil treatment so yes also got this now i love freeman's mask and skincare products i feel like that they are very affordable but they're really good this is the blackberry gel facial cleanser this re removes debris and makeup they do have some good mask and i did pick up some stuff from ulta which that's another haul but i want to uh, show you guys I've got this for a dollar and it's paraben free yeah can't wait to use this this is a gel cleanser one another thing is the new pore luxurious home spa treatment it has shea butter and aloe these are moisturizing socks I really wanted to try this I was like oh that sounds interesting although it's from the 99 cent store it's like ain't nothing wrong with having some soft socks for a dollar I wanted to try those those are kind of like face mask but for your feet okay so on to let me show you what i got from walgreens because that wasn't a lot this is the burt's bees this was this was actually on the clearance but this is the coconut and pear lip balm with the lemon butter cuticle cream i've used the cuticle cream before it's really great to throw in your purse or to have it when you travel and just you can just put it on there kind of push back your cuticles i don't go to the salon I actually polish my own nails i was so excited about this y'all nicole Nagaro was the og back in the day that i used to watch all the time and i got her 143 feather light feel define easy on gentle off this is the vlogger series i cannot wait to draw these yeah i hope this is not limited edition they were all sold out online but i looked up my walgreens and they had one if i really love these i'm going to go get another but these were kind of expensive for drugstore it was like eight nine dollars i did pick up two wet and wild liquid lipsticks this is in give me mocha and also i got nudist peach so i did want to pick up two more of these i probably will just go online and get it because they didn't have the whole line in my drugstore so i actually got these on sale these are like so simple lash this is a press and release i thought that i could do a does it work type of thing you, it actually goes on an applicator and you put it on and then you release it on your eyelash. This is from Kiss and this is a press and release. 
I have never seen this in terms of lashes, so I wanted to try that. And this was on sale. This is the Multi-Angle Technology. This is the Natural Flourish Blooming Lash in the shade Lily. This reminds me a lot of my wispy lashes. And so it looks like it's soft, but it's very fluttery and they're 3D. So I really wanted to try these. I got this. I got these two from the Naya Sis store. This is a bandana and it's a hair wrap. So you could, these are the different ways that you could use it. And as you can tell, I love pink. And this one is kind of like an animal print. And this one is a Moby shade. Really quick, let me share what I got from Big Lots. These are the LA Colors Drama to Lash. And this is in the style Diva. Now this reminds me of a Wispy a whole lot. So that's why I got that. Yeah, that looks exactly like my favorite lashes. And I only paid a dollar. And then this is Delightful. Now those are very, very light, but they look like they're very like thin and fluttery. So it would just look nice on top of my lashes. So these were only a dollar. So I do most of my shopping at CVS. So I got the Derma E. This was on sale. I really have been liking Derma E. This is an anti-wrinkle vitamin A retinol palmitate cream. And so, yeah. This one, I think you can use day and night. This is a vitamin A high potency, encourages cell renewal. This must be a night cream. Enhancing scale. Uh, oh, you can use this morning and evening, but I'm sure you have to use, because it has retinol in it, you need to use a SPF. So yeah, this is an anti-wrinkle cream. We don't want no wrinkles. Wrinkle who? Okay, so let's go to CVS. The first thing I got with this Dragon's Blood Fix Daily Cleansing Pads, these were on sale like 80, 75, 80% off. So I've heard of Knit and Fab, and this is the Hydrate. This is, I wanted to try this. I've heard this is good, and the beauty consultant there recommended that. This is a brow, brow building fiber gel by Ardell. I do have a brow um a brow pomade that i want to try i want to try some brow stuff from the drugstore absolutely love my brow definer by l'oreal hands down that is the best the best brow pencil on the market right now it reminds me a lot of max spiked spike spiked s-p-i-k-e-d so i really want to try this i picked up this my girl, CJ, have always been talking about the Infallible Pro Matte. Now, this kind of confused me because the, the numbers were not comparable to the shades of the foundation. But this, hopefully, if this is too dark for me, I can definitely use that as a bronzer. That's the thing I love about this. If, if this is in Golden Beige 600, so hopefully this is not too dark for me. But this was on sale for like... I don't know, how much did I get this for? It was insane, probably like $4. Is this Mad for Matte? Now I was meaning to get this before, but they have another one called something Nudes and I ended up getting that. So I wanted to check the quality of this. I am going to do like a one brand tutorial of e.l.f. And so I needed to pick this up. So it had all the mattes and I've heard great things. Tati Westbrook. Glam Life Guru talked about this, so I wanted to try that. Ariel had a micellar water. Now, y'all know I, okay, micellar water. The love for micellar water is real. I love the Garnier. Tati said that this is better than even Bioderma, so I want to check because I love the Garnier. I love the Bioderma a bit more, but she said this is better than the Bioderma, girl. That's a big claim. That's a tall claim. So we shall see. But this is a micellar cleansing water. It was $10, so it would be half the price of Bioderma. And it says no harsh rubbing, removes dirt and impurities, hydrates and soothes. And this is for normal to dry skin. They did have two others. They have a mattifying one and they also have a waterproof. So uh, this one is super suitable soap, 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 for sensitive skin, free of oil soap. Dermatology tested. We'll see L'Oreal. This is the Hydra Genius Daily Liquid Care 72 Hour Instant Continuous Hydration. This one has a glow. It has aloe water and hyaluronic acid. So this is a, the moisturizer for day and night. We'll see. I don't know why they got rid of the texture perfector, 
What's going on L'Oreal? That was like one of my favorite products. That was a serum. This would have paired really well, I believe. This is the original Witch Hazel. It's pore perfecting toner and it gently cleanses and conditions pores to maintain clear, smooth and balanced skin without over drying. I use this in the morning. I have another bottle that I've already opened, but I wanted to show you guys this and I am loving Witch Hazel. I use it in the morning. I actually like it over micellar water. But the micellar water I like for like cleansing my face and stuff. Witch Hazel, I'll go right behind it and make sure it tones. It definitely minimizes pores. So if you have large pores, and I don't have large pores, but, and, but I can still tell the difference. So yeah, with that, I got this. This was like $5. This is the Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Cream Rinse. And I heard Ashkin Curls here on YouTube talk about this and say that she really liked this as a leave-in. Now I was gonna use it as leave-in anyway, but this is for fine wavy curly hair. Hello, last month. So, and it came in 20% more product. So I was really happy to get this. And I also have the deep condition, the oil and the shampoo. So I will be reviewing that in 2017. And I have a couple of NYX products and then we'll move on to ColourPop. I have a Wet n Wild. I have the, this is, hold on. I have this in Hickory Smoked. This is a matte velvet, I believe. Yeah, this is a matte velvet lip color. And this is so pretty. Do we want to swatch this? No, we won't swatch it because I didn't swatch the other ones. Let's be fair. This, this is the Pro Foundation Mixer. If your foundation is too light or too dark, um, you can use these to mix into your foundation. Maybe I'll come with maybe a tutorial showing if this really works or something. Because this one is to make it darker. This one is to make it lighter. No, this is to make it lighter. This one is to make it a little bit more moisture, uh, a little bit more yellow undertone. And then this one, I guess, more red. Okay, so on to ColourPop. This is a highlight. This is in the shade Candyman. I'm not gonna say that too many times because I got a mirror over here. But it's a beautiful like gold, bronzy, almost like rose gold. Very pretty. Mr. Bing, no, this is from the Kathleen Lights. Yeah, this is Mr. Bing. And the gel, this is the gel liner. And Mr. Bing, that reddish, that pretty reddish. Ooh, I can't wait to do a tutorial with that. This is one of the new liquid lingeries, and this is in the shade Ruffle Trim. I know I'm gonna love that. I have a, I think this is a lip gloss. This is in the shade Fudged. This is from the K, uh, from Karuchi's line, I wanna say. And then this is in the shade Times Square. There that is. And what is this? This is a ultra matte lip. This is, I've used this before. This is Love Bug. I just put it back in the packaging, I think. This is so pretty. I have a picture on Instagram using this. So pretty. We hope. Ooh, let's try one of these. A oh, pretty. I like that. Okay, so that is uh, my drugstore haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. That is my first drugstore haul. So of course we have some stuff to try on. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section what you would like for me to come back on camera and try on in front of you guys for our first impressions. Don't forget to subscribe and Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next few days in the next video.